go ahead and talk about removing hat bands. So this one is glued on. What you're gonna do is untie the back. And then you're just gonna go ahead and pull. The excess glue on the hat, you're just gonna go ahead and pull what you can and rub the rest and it just balls up. Some hat bands you might find that are loosely on and just have a stitch in place in a few areas. To... And what you're gonna do is grab some scissors, get under, clip, off and some other ones you're gonna have it's also gonna be glued so you're just gonna loosen that sucker up pull it off and then attach anything else that you want now let's have some fun and attach some new hat bands to the hats this one I got a little bit of blingy for the pink thought it would go well Let's do another one. Next, I want to go ahead and attach this cowhide. Give me one second and I'll be right back and show you about it. So I just went ahead and attached this cowhide band. You wrap it around, you just tie it here in the back and then you're gonna go ahead and cut to the length that you want it to go to. After taking this one off, it had just a little bit of glue here. It slips out all the way. I just put it back in and then you're just Lay it over and cinch it tight. And there's what it looked like originally. And again, you can just take this off and on now and interchange your hat bands. Here's the original band that we ended up taking off with those few cross stitches. There you go. Here they all are with their original bands that we started on back on not tacked not glued and not glued so now they can be completely interchangeable with all the bands that you want to play with so have fun if you're going to glue your hat band on versus a couple anchor cross stitches you're going to want to make sure that you use a generous amount all the way around the hat we like to use a rubber cement glue on our products. Make sure that the glue is dry. This is when it's first applied. This is in the middle stage of drying and you really want it to be nice and clear like this one here to attach the hat band. Don't forget to glue the back of your hat bands too. After the glue on the hat and the band has dried enough to look clear, you're going to go ahead and center it and start to attach your band. Once you're finished with your hat band and wrapping it around with a soft pass, you're gonna go back through 
really massage it in to get that glue to adhere to both the hat and the band. If you've gotten one of our American Hat Makers bands through our website, some of them come with a string like this and you're just gonna attach it in the back and tie it off nice and securely. And voila, you just put on a hat band. If there's any leftover glue that you can see peeking out above the hat band, you just go ahead and rub it off. It'll ball up and be gone in no time.